we are able to see a buffalo on media, we are able to see rhinos on media, we are able to see elephants on media, and yet this place was actually a sanctuary of these animals. Hopefully we'll see some animals. We've not seen any animal at all. We've seen a couple birds, but that's about it. For how long are we going to continue depleting our animals? My name is Jonas Konda, I'm a Zambian and I work for Zambian World of Warriors home in partnership uh, with World Arc. We are setting up a conservancy in the Fonseca management area of uh, the Lower Zambezi National Park. The Funsa area actually had a steady population of rhinos a long time ago and uh, all are gone through poaching. From the time the rhinos disappeared, all the big uh, wildlife species left as well. And now you can hardly see any, any, any form of wildlife apart from signs of dangs uh, left by kudus and, uh, and warthogs. Yeah, so the main issues that are facing wildlife uh, population, um, of, of course, uh, deforestation, uh, that is through charcoal burning, uh, agriculture, preparing land for agriculture. Poaching is actually one of the uh, big issues. Um, yeah, so these are the main big uh, drivers of, uh, of uh, water attribution in uh, Monsagia management area. This is big enough to accommodate maybe five guys, six guys. Yeah, they would be trying to get any form of bush meat. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So as we move further inside, yeah. you find more of such. Okay. Look, we have not just lost our wildlife, we have lost human beings. And uh, I wouldn't blame them much. They were looking for money to end their living. The Rufunsa Rhino Conservancy is trying to address uh, the three main issues that, uh, that helps to, uh, people to live side by side with wildlife. And these three issues are the anti-poaching itself, anti-poaching uh, unit, then also the environmental education, so that is working with uh, community groups in educating them about the importance of wildlife. The other main uh, pillar is uh, livelihoods. We see a lot of people who are already in um, charcoal burning and all these other vices that are driving into depletion of wildlife. But we need to provide alternative livelihood and that is one of the most important pillars. Our main milestone is to see the reintroduction of uh, rhino into the Fulsa Game Management Area and uh, Lower Zambezi National Park. But amongst all, we, we, we think in the next five, ten years, we want to see a lot of population coming back into the Funsa Game Management Area. We want to see um, those uh, rivers that have depleted because of bad practices upstream to start flowing again. And that is the indicator that the, the environment is getting much healthier. As a person born with passion uh, for wildlife conservation, and after working in all these national parks around Zambia, going to work in Rufunsa is, is, is a dream come true because we're not going to a place where there's wildlife. We're going to a place where you are challenged to see before you are gone or dead that wildlife comes back to, uh, to Rufunsa Game Management Area. And that would be like a living legacy for me. 10, 20 years more from today, I want to see my daughter seeing a leopard. Sing a rhino, sing a hyena, sing a buffalo. <laughs>